there he is. I'm pretty sure his name is going to be Hyder. Bezos delivered this already. It's a cat tracker. So when he hides, my phone will tell me where he is. He grew up in a house with a dog and a toddler. So he's learned to hide. But this is just his second day here and he's really coming around. If he's sleeping like that or hiding and I come by then he wants to come out and be petted and loved and adored. <laughs> there he is. Look how adorable. And purring. People who gave him to me named him Scout. But I'm thinking about calling him the Little Hider. I think this is just what he does in a new environment. His first reaction is to find a little hidey hole for himself. And later on, once he feels comfortable in the place, then he'll start exploring. Today is his first day in the boat. And the boat is just on its trailer in the driveway. And I wanted to spend most of the day in the boat with him to get him used to the boat get him thinking of the boat as part of his home so he feels safe in here and if the boat is in a strange spot maybe he will retreat to the boat and not want to be exploring off of the boat that may be a little much to hope for but we can always hope So, he's just adorable. And he loves to be petted. 
He's already figured out that I'm his buddy. He came from a house with a big dog and a toddler. So he was terrified of everything when I first got him. And there's a few places in the house where he feels safe and he seems to feel safe near me. He still has his habit of hiding. But a lot of times when he comes out of hiding, he comes over next to me and wants to be petted. So that's a good sign. This is only the third day that he's been here. So I think he's doing a pretty good job of adapting to life here. And like I said, this is his first time on the boat. He's only been in the boat a few minutes at this point. This is Scout. Right now, he is six months old. And I am his protector. He came from a house with a dog and a toddler. And so he's afraid all the time. And he either has to be in hiding or curled up right next to me. Which is fine with me. And that's how you catch a cat. Three, two, one, <laughs> cat. Three, two, one, 
cat. There he is. Three, two, one, cat. Two, one, cat. Cat. And that is catch and release catfishing. We can now capture the beauty of night. Creatures brought to life by the darkness. Unseen behaviors. Now we can follow the lives of animals in Earth's last true wilderness. The night. They must find water soon. But the youngsters can't sustain these speeds for long. All the lions need to do is keep up the pressure. There he is. There's the little scout on top of the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just adorable. Mm -hmm. Well, get him. Get that little guy. Get him, Scout.
Where's the little scout? It's right there. Right, right there. There he is. Where's that lizard? Can you see him? Where's the little scout? There he is, the little scout. Mm -hmm. What if I go back downstairs? There he goes. And I saw him go off in this direction. There he is. There's the little scout. Run around, Scout. There he is. There's the little Scout. <laughs> there he is. Is he gonna run now? Where can he run? Show me. Show me how he can run. The little scout? If I go downstairs, he'll follow. And then he'll probably run somewhere again. There he goes, the little scout. And off into the living room. Where did he go this time? There he is. I bet if I go upstairs again, he'll follow. I bet he will. There he goes, the little scout. <laughs> there he is. And back under there. He's just so fast. And he's gone. I see his tail. I see that tail. <laughs> there he went.